The town of Canton is about to hold its first select board meeting since the Karen Reed case ended. This is a live look from the meeting just about to get underway. The judge in the trial last week declared a mistrial, and that case has divided the town in the past, and these meetings have been contentious. We'll keep an eye on tonight's meeting and bring you any developments. But meanwhile, legal experts continue to weigh in after yesterday's bombshell revelations. Reed's lawyers say they had unsolicited information from inside the jury room. And now the role of the lead investigator in the case is up in the air. NBC 10's Eli Rosenberg live outside the courthouse in Dedham with new reaction. Eli. Well, J.C., Karen Reed's nine-week trial once thought to bring a conclusion to everything now appears to be just a starting point. We talked to some legal experts today, including a retired judge, and they tell us this possible jury issue has to be figured out before any potential second trial. From charges to a trial to a mistrial to now jury intrigue. The Karen Reed case showing no signs of reaching a definitive conclusion anytime soon. In a case that's been crazy, this is about the craziest thing you can imagine. This a day after Reed's lawyers filed a motion saying they received unsolicited information that the deadlocked jury that led to a mistrial may not have been as deadlocked as previously thought. With reports, the jury did agree that Reed was not guilty on two of the three charges. That, Service though, not made public. I'm declaring a mistrial in this case. Before the judge in the case ruled a mistrial. That's something that I've never heard before and expect I'll never hear again. It's, it's that unprecedented. And while both sides are set to talk about that second trial during a hearing on July 22nd, retired Judge Jack Lou says this jury issue must be sorted out first. Or the judge might schedule an evidentiary hearings where the jurors come in and are called as witnesses. Uh, or the judge might authorize post-verdict interviews by the lawyers and their investigators. Also up in the air, what role will lead investigator State Trooper Michael Proctor play in any second trial? This after he was suspended without pay yesterday for taxi admitted sending about Reed while investigating the case. I hate to talk in such uh, extreme language, but it's hard to deny that this is an extraordinary case. And tonight we are hearing from the police association, the union representing Trooper Michael Proctor. They tell us they are disappointed in the move to suspend him without pay, adding they believe they have not received any information indicating those texts were the sole reason for the suspension. So that's where it stands right now from their vantage point. Meanwhile, we also are hearing from the DA's office, and they tell us they are going to have a response to those motions filed on Monday. Those could be filed as early as tomorrow. The next hearing and all of this is scheduled right now for July 22nd. Live in Dedham, Eli Rosenberg, NBC 10 Boston. All right, Eli, thank you. Of course, we will be covering that hearing as we have covered this entire thing from start to finish. Be sure to stay with NBC 10 Boston for continuing coverage of the Karen Reed case. Again, the next hearing scheduled for July 22nd. It's going to be live on our streaming channel and on NECN. In the meantime, for more insight on the case, you can listen to the latest episode of the Canton Confidential Podcast. It's available wherever you get your podcasts.